Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video, we are going to take up one algebraic expression which we have to simplify without using calculators. So let's get started by considering the given expression as E. And we can presume A equal to 51, B equal to 49. Then I can see 100 is A plus B. So A plus B we will consider 100. So our expression will become A plus B whole power 5 minus A power 5 minus B power 5 divided by A plus B times A times B. So ultimately we have to simplify this expression first. Then I will consider our numerator first. So let me write this is numerator and this is denominator. So let's simplify numerator first. So we can write it is a plus b whole power is 5 minus a power 5 minus b power 5. So I will use expansion. So for that I need Pascal triangle power is 5. So let us find out all the coefficients for expansion. For power 2, coefficients are 1, 2, 1. For power 3, 1, 3, 3, 1. For power 4, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. And for power 5, we can write 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Now let's expand a plus b whole power 5. I will write a power 5, the very first term. We can club these two because coefficients are same. These two coefficients are same. These two coefficients are same. So I will write at the beginning a power 5 plus b power 5 first and last. Then I want to write 5 as a coefficient. In bracket I can write a power 4 b plus a b power 4. Now for coefficient 10 I will be writing 10 a cube b square plus a square b cube. Now you can see uh, after that I need to write minus a power 5 minus b power 5. This is our numerator. So we can easily cancel these two. What we'll have after that it is 5 a power 4 b plus a b power 4. In second bracket 10 in bracket a cube b square plus a square b cube. So this is our numerator so far. Let's simplify further. So I can write n is equal to. I can write it would be if you will take 5 common or better is to consider 5 ab is common in the first bracket. Then in bracket it would be left a cube plus b cube. And if I will consider the second bracket common is a square b square. Then in bracket I can write a plus b. Now I will apply one identity a cube plus b cube formula is on. Let's apply it. I will write here 5 a b a plus b in bracket a square plus b square minus a b. This is formula for a cube plus b cube plus 10 a square b square. In bracket it is a plus b. Now you can see a b is common. a plus b is also common and 5 is also common. So let's take 5 a b a plus b common out. So what will be left after that? I will be writing here a square plus b square minus ab. Okay. Now here I will write twice and then ab will be left. So I will write 5 times ab a plus b. In this bracket I can write a square plus b square plus ab. 
so this is our numerator let's write our expression e because we have calculated the simplified form of numerator so in numerator place i can write 5 ab in bracket a plus b in other bracket a square plus b square plus ab and denominator it was a plus b times a times b now i can cancel a plus b times ab let's cancel it so what is left expression e equal to 5 a square plus b square plus ab let me write here e is equal to 5 in bracket a square plus b square plus ab i will write e equal to 5 now can we write here a minus b whole square form because we know a is 51 b is 49 so if i will write a minus b then it would be 2 only which is small so let us convert a minus b whole square then what i need to add so i need to add here 2 ab now this part is over after that we have got ab so we can write it is equal to 5 in bracket a minus b whole square plus 3 ab 3 times ab let's put the value for our final answer so i will write e is equal to 5 times in bracket 51 minus 49 whole square plus 3 times 51 times 49 now i will write 5 times in bracket 51 minus 49 it is 2 square plus 3 times can we write 51 as 50 plus 1 and 49 as 50 minus 1 it is a plus b a minus b form so 51 we can write 50 plus 1 and 49 we can write 50 minus 1 now i will be writing 5 times 4 plus 3 times a square minus b square so i will write 50 square Minus one square, that is one, or let us write one square also. Now we can write directly the square value. Let me write here five times four plus. Let me write here five times four plus three times in bracket fifty square minus one square. So I can write five times four plus three times. It is two thousand five hundred minus one. Okay, five times four plus. Expand this seven thousand five hundred minus three. Five times four minus three is one. Plus seven thousand five hundred. Now you can see five times in bracket seven five zero one. And if I will multiply both numbers, I will be having my final answer. It would be thirty seven thousand five hundred five. This is our final answer. using binomial expansion and pascal triangle i hope friends this video will be meaningful to you do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck and take care of yourself bye bye